revólver. Y son dos tiros en la cabeza. Uno aquí y otro aquí. De arriba de las cejas para acá. Yo soy John Jairo Velázquez Vázquez, alias Popeye, lugarteniente de Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Fui su asesino de confianza. De mi propia mano he matado más de 250 personas. Actualmente estoy en libertad. Why would, would he released and killed out of love and respect for Pablo Escobar? Wow. I... Uh, is this guy a sicko or what? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, we respected them, so we shot him just twice in the head and dismembered and burned him? Oh. oh, my. Yeah. These are just some of the people, Mr. President. We pissed off. Uh, yes, that's you, Mr. Trump. A hitman without a T. Hi, man. A shit list without an S is a hit list. A friend without an R is a fiend. And an enema is, well, keep your fiends close and your enemas closer. Flush them regularly. Just don't mess up water to do it. Hey, Lee. Oh, right. Where was he when he did that? Florida? Under whose guns? Oh, my. Not the full on, this is gonna change both of us forever kind of you know? And oh man, was our mainstream media excited to see some good old fashioned death and destruction. They, they, this, is, this is true. When I the put, locals I uh, were under the impression that a, a, atomic and meant nuclear. And they were so well, no. They didn't know that atomic meant nuclear and said that an atomic attack occurred. And I said, that's nuclear. And she said, what? Yeah. I know. Yeah, it was a weird flight. But see, that was ecstatic. They were like high five and chest bumping. All the networks were like kids in a candy store. Fed Adderall. Because they think it helps them see clearly or something. I don't know. And they are beautiful pictures of of fearsome armaments. Beautiful pictures of fearsome armaments? I love mugshots. There's one. The only times I've ever written poetry in my life was when I was in love. It's the same for Brian Williams. All right. Is that what that was? Poetry? Love poetry for a missile? Don't tell the Indians. They want to, you to change the name from tomahawk to something else. Oh, oh God! Oh God! Oh! I thought I'd last longer. I'm. Oh God! Oh God! He came too quick. Oh, war porn. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't have arrived so abruptly. You clean that up. That's another show, Roughly. But that's yeah. not what I want to talk about in this segment. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll spend this segment talking about how we basically never interfere militarily unless there's either oil or power to be had. If you look back at the books, we don't give a shit about kids killed by chemical weapons or any other kind. Not the we of us, not the eye of me. Foreign intervention in a civil war is a hundred times more likely when the afflicted country has high oil Well, reserves. yeah, it's Dick Cheney's go-get list. 1951, petroleum geology by Landy's Fox, dig it up. We should steal oil Along with... Syria. He said, we should what have gotten more of the oil in Syria. <laughs> Other book. And we should uh. have gotten more of the oil in Iraq. Oliver was well, that private report out of uh, England, uh, you know, our, our Revolutionary War. Yeah. He just leaves it out there. I read a copy. It's amazing. I love the Brits. No, no, go look at it. Go, I'm a fing idiot. Go. Tweet if there's a spelling error. But they're no good at English Russian translations. We need the French for that. Anyway. Some have said Assad is blocking an important oil pipeline to Europe, and that's why we're going in. And other people have said it benefits us to destabilize the region, but of course, the Trump administration would never admit to that. And, and not was any, in any way, shape, or form any more of a distraction from the president's decisive action in Syria and the attempts that he's making to destabilize the region. <laughs> oh, John, you put all of our feet in your mouth today. Oh. 
anyone who thinks Trump or the Pentagon gives a tip of a turd about dead children. Hey, let this be no building. <laughs> mistake no, here. I'm not going to talk about that for this segment. Maybe, maybe I'll spend this segment uh, covering how the media has been calling Trump presidential for the first time because he's bombing people. And yeah, presidential according to whose playbook? Yeah, Rick's familiar. Because he fired missiles. Is a recipe for disaster. Well, Do that's what they're brewing now. Ate off of Andrew Holyfield's ear. The coaches said, "Good job, Mike. Way to go, buddy." No, if they had, he would have done that <laughs> every time. <laughs> he would have been eating a pendant. Half his crew would have been missing fingers. Like that sicko demigod on the magicians. <laughs> we dropped the largest non-atomic bomb in Afghanistan. Oh, the largest non-atomic bomb. Yes. What about you men, folks? Oh, but more and more of you are watching that. But no, that's, that's, that's not what I want to talk about. Maybe I'll talk about how odd it is that we suddenly care for the victims of the chemical attack in Syria versus the countless people we've killed in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and more. As Chris Hedges said, the selective moral outrage of the United States over the alleged chemical attack ignores, ignores America's, America's primary responsibility. For the wholesale carnage that has left hundreds of thousands dead and millions as refugees, including a quarter million from Iraq and five million from Syria. But no, no, yeah. Yeah, I know. We did that, but not you and I, perhaps. And I didn't do that, and you didn't do that, maybe. Nothing could be better for Trump's terrible approval rating than to attack another country. In fact, one of the greatest political minds of our time once said, now that Obama's, Obama's phone numbers, phone numbers are in tailspin, watch for him not to strike in Libya or Iran. He's desperate. desperate. 2012. That man <laughs> is a prophet. He's a prophet. No, they predicted the future then plotted to make it so. <laughs> we unravel their yarn now. And in fact, the week before bombing Syria, Trump's approval ratings were lower than Obama's ever were. Yeah. And the moment you fire those missiles, our mainstream media... It was. Goes, they were. Listen, nation, time for us to get behind our president, right? We got to get behind our infantile, egomaniacal, white supremacist, doofus of a president. And? We must support him in this time of war. Oh, is that all? No, time, not me. But he's dropping bombs. Or maybe I'll spend this segment talking about how the bombing helps groups we're fighting against. Hedges said the forces we assist by striking the Assad regime are the, are the forces, forces we ironically, ironically are determined, determined to, eradicate, to eradicate, so we say. Nasra Front, Al-Qaeda, and other Islamic radical groups. Funded by These are the CIA same group Islamic you. forces we, along with others, with large largely amounts of help. created armed and from the funded Israelis. at the inception of the civil war in Syria. If you can thank Archer for but popularizing no, no, that's, that. That's not what I want to talk about. Uh, Jibe. <laughs> I know, I know. Maybe I'll spend this segment talking about how going to war without the approval of Congress is still illegal and yeah. unconstitutional and f***ing pile of d waffles. I, I know, mean, I understand completely. In fact... I'd Any like nuclear quote, attack from us will be met with a nuclear this, response. This, this world, this Didn't these humans realize seen? that the nukes don't Once work? Said, the president well, must technically get congressional not. approval before attacking Syria. Big mistake if he does not. Oh, when that was 20, that what, 13? That man. You know Saturday what? across the U.S. calling no uh, for Trump. He publishes tax returns. Big whoop. Tax returns. I know I could spend this wrong issue, but okay. Our media clearly has their marching orders, repeating the same thing over and over. And according to fairness and accuracy in reporting, the five top papers in the country ran 18 pieces Rant. praising the strike, but yes. zero critical ones. Anti-war voices are not allowed. Congresswoman Tulsi <coughs> Gabbard. On the verge of being CNN called fake news and branded terrorists. She is a veteran. And if she has we don't let them. The oh, is that show? Support bombing failed the uh, field uh, operative parked behind a desk at CNN yes, for years yes, now. There's no, a no, mugshot for you. Guys, listen. Bald newsman Wolf Flitcher knew how to deal Not with this man. goddamn commie, hippie, long hair, better Jerry, chunky monkey, safe space, building, <laughs> yes. trigger warning, feminazi. 
Oh, oh feminazi. I believe is responsible for that uh, chemical attack that killed so many civilians, sorry including about that. so many ch children. Ch if President Assad is found to be responsible after an independent investigation for these horrific chemical weapons attacks, I'll be the first one to denounce him, to call him a war criminal. Who is responsible Might have to be, my dear. for the deaths of more than 400,000 Syrians? Unfortunately, us are, we are, uh, oops, well, not you and I, of course. Children, elderly, who do you blame? Don't mistake you us if we are the eye for me. Do you believe that Bashar al-Assad bears a lot of the responsibility for the horrific deaths that have occurred in his own country, uh, his, his regime, his military going out there and killing all these people? Don't you think, Congressman, he bears a lot of that responsibility? Congressman, I mean, we're to show you, Congressman, hard evidence Congressman, convincing you that Bashar al-Assad's regime launched these coming. I think he's a little gender confused. Would you would you change your mind? What the U.S. did with these Tomahawk cruise missiles was justified. If President Trump didn't act and, and more chemical weapons strikes were launched against uh, Syrian Saturday Night civilians, Live? Uh, no, that this is real. Air base, how would you feel? Yes, uh, Wolf Blitzer has suddenly found his concern for murdered civilians. How would you it feel, Wolfie? He uh, didn't seem to notice so much when we dropped 26,000 bombs last year alone before Trump got into town. Well, he did not bother, yeah, I know. He did not bother Wolf. Back when Nobel Peace Prize winner Barack Obama bombed Nobel Peace Prize winners Doctors Without Borders. But now, Wolf is at a yeah. come to Jesus moment! And Thank the you, Jesus. Of Jesus will be played by General Mad Dog bad, Mattis. Bad Wolf. Bad Wolf. Run, and you no, clever no, boy, instead run. Instead of spending time on any of those things, in fact, I'm not even going to mention them. Instead of... Don't forget to bring your TARDIS in a towel. I'm going to tell you something you will never hear on your mainstream media. Please. Not allowed to be spoken. Okay, go ahead. Spoken. War and unfettered capitalism are intertwined and inseparable. Inequality and profit over people will always create endless war. America has been at war 93% of our time, 222 out well, of 239 yes. years since 1776. There can be no peace in a system ruled by profits. So don't say that. There's... Yeah, I believe that's don't... true. Don't say that near our mainstream media or your ruling elite. We don't want to wake them up. <laughs> is it sleeping? Coming to you from Washington, D.C., the Belly of the Beast is redacted tonight. Tired and wasted. <laughs> Sick, tired and wasted. Not the only one. 